daughters. How are you today? I am, of course, as always, awesome. I would like to talk a little bit about what we've done here on our special wall of sparkly things. And then I want to show you how to make your own special wall of either sparkly things or things you framed or stuff like that. In this case, because we've already done this, I'm going to be showing you some things that we framed that need to be hung up in a different space. Anyway, what we did here, a lot of people say to me, oh, well, I've got too many kits hanging up on the wall. And I'll say to them, so how many do you have hanging up? Oh, one. <laughs> no, that's not too many. Uh, we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a kit there, so that's, that counts as eight, but it's four pieces. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We have 26 hanging here, but there's still more room down here. So um, I am going to be adding some more kits to this wall. And this is the entrance wall to the house. So on one side, we've got where the diamond dots, brand dots hang. And on this side, we've got um, some demonstration dots. So people come in the door and they see all of these sparkly things and then they go into the studio and that's a bit even more sparkly in there. So why do we do it like this? Um, really, we just wanted to hang as much stuff on the wall as we could. There's no particular, I mean, here you can see we've kind of done it in two by twos. You could definitely do this. You could do um, a a two by two section you could do a four by four section you could do a nine which is three by three you could do it however you want you can keep the kits the same size or you can just randomly hang what you have in whatever order you like because it's your wall and you can do whatever you want you don't you're not <laughs> you're not tied to any rules it's your own place but if it's not your own place which in our case, it is actually not our own place. We are renting from my mum. So what we've done is we've used the claw, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit more. And will I take one of these off and then you can see? Okay, so this one here will take off. This is the claw. So the claw is just a little tiny thing that hangs. To, will I pull this one out? Will that be helpful? No, okay. <laughs> um, and when you are done with it, all it leaves is two little mini holes instead of, um, so we're actually going to pull it out. Okay. okay so, it's gonna so there you go. So you can see the mark Plus where we've mark. marked where we wanted to hang it. And that's all that's left. Oh, sorry. That was because I was doing that with my nail. Hang on. Here we go. Press that. that. There you go. Okay. So you can see what's left. Now you could quite easily um, just paint over that with a little bit of paint on a sponge and fill those holes and then no one would ever know that anything was there. So now we're just gonna put it back in carefully, hopefully into the same spot we had it in. All right, there we go. So the, wall, the claw is now back on the wall and then how we hang is we actually print these out ourselves on site. They're a little wall hanger. Um, I can put them up on the website so you guys can get them. It's just got a little space underneath um, where, what would you call that? <laughs> where the little thing, the this hook. little thing's going to go, where the little hook's going to sit in there. So then all you do is you come back and you pop it on and then you kind of move it a little bit if it's not straight. I mean, in that case, I've done it perfectly, have I not? Yeah, good work, me. Okay, so now I'm going to take you over and show you what we're going to be doing now. Let's go this way. So this, the, the wall over here used to have stuff on it and at the moment does not. Up here though, um, you can see some of our other kits. Now this is five quite large kits. So I think this is a 60 by 90 maybe. Uh, then we've got a 30 by 60. Then we've got a 60 by 80, which actually does go a couple of drawers underneath there. So um, I just have not enough space to store everything right now. So that is a little bit deeper than you see. That's a 45 by oh, 45 by 80, I think. 40 by 80, and that's also a 40 by 80. So you see here we've actually used, um, we've kind of gone in a step up system and we've um, used the space that we have 
because uh, and we've kind of matched it with what kits we had so it works pretty well I like it some people might not like it but there that space could have had just one thing hung on it but in that case we've actually managed to put five kits so um, that is pretty cool what we're going to be doing is these are all frames they're all different things they used to hang up in the studio so I'll um, flip one over so that's like a little set of flowers it's a it's a card actually that I framed might need a little rejig in there but anyway um, and these are all gonna go up in that space and we're gonna do it with the claw so Raven's gonna talk about how he would measure it all to make it all fit and how he's gonna mark the wall up so that these things can go on and the good thing about this is you can add more at a later time if you want to I mean this is what we've got here now but later we might have more kits, or might, might have more frames, and we might want to add more. So the same goes for the other wall that we just looked at. The other wall, you can add more to that at any time. And you can move things around as well. You're not stuck with what you've done. All right, so and we, are we going to swap over? We will pause. Okay, so we're just going to talk about how you would actually lay your things out on the table to get an idea of how they're going to look on the wall. So that's what we did here. I started with this big, um, this is actually Waikiki with the moon, um, so I started with that one. It's a slightly bigger frame, so I, I wanted that to be in the middle. And then when I put them all down, I realised that I had uh, enough to be able to do ones that had, what would you call this? This is landscape? landscape. Yep. This is landscape, this is portrait. So um, I had enough to do four um, that way. And then this one could actually go either way, but I decided that it fits better like this. These are greeting cards which I framed, and they're a little bit sparkly, so they catch the light. They're really pretty. I like them. So what we've done, we've just laid them down and then moved them around until it's how I like it. So this is what we're going to be hanging up on the wall. And then what we'll do next is we'll flip everything over so that we can do a... Um, measurement this one will have to fix because this is up the wrong way um, so we can do a measurement of where things are before we mark up the wall and hang the, the claws on all right so that's what we're going to be doing next hey everyone this is Raiden he is the man cave guru he is the maker of things he's the printer of things he's the doer of things and what he's about to do for us is explain how to measure um, to hang on your wall. All right, are you ready? And that's if you want to be super precise, which you don't always, sometimes I just hang things up by eye and however they turn out is how they turn out. But if you want to be precise and you like the way you've laid it out onto the table, um, get them all even out, flip them over, so all the mounting points are showing. And essentially what you do is you would measure from the top one so will we write, the, do you need to write it down? And you write them down. Yeah, okay. We're I'm, gonna I'm going to end up putting paper. it on the wall just by eye. Yep, okay. But if you want to do it super, super precise, this is how you would do it. So then you start with the middle row and you go, okay, from the top one, you got 20 centimetres to the next one. Then you got next one's at about 45 and the next one's about 64. So where the actual mounting bracket itself is. So you'd write those down and then when you come over to the wall, you work out where your first one's going to go and then you would do little marks down the wall at those same measurements so you can see exactly where you need to put the hangers to hang those up then when you do the side ones again from the top one you measure across and you can sort of adjust it to make it a nice even to make it easy right down so you've got 28 centimeters there and all these will, will hang in a row. So basically, if you've got a line of these, it's all going to be 28 centimetres across for this line. And then again, do the same thing. You line it out. You say, okay. Oops. Oops. Both. All right, so this one's going to be 26 from the top one. And let's say about 57, 58. Okay, do we want to write this down? Or no. are you just going to do it by eye? Okay. So if you've done 28 centimeters across that way, 
You kind of want to do 28 centimeters across this way as well to make them all even. And again, measure down the bottom if they're different. If your two sides are going to be exactly the same frames, then you can match the same measurements on either side to make it even as well. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. So once you've got all that written down on paper, mapped out the measurements that you need, then you can start hanging them up. As I said, I'm going to hang it up by eye. So I'm going to start with the top one. So we're just going to watch the magic happen here, are we? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you have a nice stable thing to... So he's on a little on. Um, step stool. Yeah. And this is our freezer here, so yeah. it's kind of... So let's have a look at your space. And again, if you want to be super precise, measure your space, find a center point and drop a line off the first one. So I'm going to eyeball it. So, okay. Sit on there, so the claws just basically sit hard against the wall like that. Hang on, nice I'm going to actually show them you putting it in. Okay. It'll be easier for you to hold it. So they just sit against the wall like that, where you want it, and you push them in. Just like that. Yeah. If, That's how easy it is. If you haven't quite got the strength in your fingers, you can use a pair of pliers with a one of the... Okay, so jaws on either side and use that to push it in or just a slight tap with a small hammer like those little, little hobby hammers to tap it into the wall and that locks it in place and now that's set ready to go. Alrighty. So because I'm doing it by eye I'll hang the first one up. They're hanging nice and straight. And then get the next one. one's going to mount about there and about that far down so again I'm pretty good at eyeballing it off the center push it in hang it up and get it straight and continue all right so we will we will stay here oh did we drop the claws on the floor anyone okay <laughs> We will stay here and we'll let you do all the running back and forth. Or do you want me to bring them over here? Would that be helpful? Well, they can't really do the camera and at the same time, can you? No, probably not. That's all right. No, you're just there. Okay. So actually when you start hanging things with this claw, it's really pretty quick to get... Oh, you've just got to make sure it sits in the right spot. I've always... I always struggle to make them... Um, I mean, it's easier with our little mounting thingies. But these things are quite small. Like what's on the back of that is just a little tiny clippy thing. So they're a little bit harder to to hang off the little the little hooky thing that you have because it's only a little like that's the hooky part there. So it's a little hooky part. All right, next one. We probably don't need the step stool for this one. So this shows you how easy and quick hanging things up can be if you have the right equipment. It used to be back in the days you would have to either use command strips, which are really pretty hard um, to uh, to use, I found. But also there was the old ones that had a little couple of nails you had to get in and those were hard to keep straight. These are actually slightly too small. Yeah, okay. So, so we're going to have to do a tricky here? Got to modify it slightly. Yeah. So I'm going to uh oh uh, close up on that. So the hole in this one is actually quite small. Yeah. It only barely fits over that. So what I'm gonna do is bend it out slightly so it hooks into the hole a bit easier. Okay. And I mean you, if you knock something off straight you can always fix it up again. Don't have to worry too much. This is the part I always worry about because I'm like, did I get it on the hook or not? Because I don't know. And if you let it go and you haven't got it on the hook, it'll just fall go. down. There we go. All right, good work. Not... not sitting on the hooky thing. Because no. these are actually meant to be frame frames that you stand yeah. up on a desk or whatever. Not really meant to be 
hanging on a wall. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, so we so now have done. the middle row finished, which looks pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. And there's definitely, once we've done this, there's definitely going to be more space. So the only thing that we have to watch here is because this one, we're a bit close to the, yeah, the light so, switch. So we'll need to make sure so we're... So centre it between the light switch and... So this is actually going to be the middle one. Yep. So where the edge of that frame is. Yep. And the edge of the light frame is. You sort of imagine those two lines and you kind of centre this. So I'm starting with the middle one. Not the top one or the bottom one, but the middle one off the side. Okay. I'll position that first centrally into two and centrally across between the light switch and that. You're going to need this stool So again. it's going to be on my site, light switch lines about there. So it's at the halfway point in both ways there. So the clip will need to be about there. So hold the clip there, slide that out. That's where it's got to go. All right. right. That is really beautiful, that card. These cards are by Pop Art. Um, I don't know whether you can find them, but look how gorgeous that is. So pretty. So I sent one to my best friend in the United States. I think his was Egyptian, like I had Egyptian stuff on it, and I got these for me. And I said to him when he got his own house, he should hang them on the wall, which he has done. So when you've got a layout like we have, you can do two things. You can have the top one, tops level, so it all comes out sort of a squarish, or you can sort of angle it down a little bit when you've only got three, four, and three like we have. Yeah, so I like that. A bit, yeah, so that way it gives it a sort of a more rounder type layout. Yeah, I like it there. I'm going to position it about there. Yeah. Again, centrally in line with that top one. So all it needs to be. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that frame. That is so gorgeous. It's a sparkly pink frame. How can that be bad ever? And it's got a card in it that has glitter on it. Like that. So, wow. It's so pretty. It's uh, someone. Uh, is it a unicorn? Ah, oh, it's a girl on a unicorn. That's really cool. Yeah. All right. Now we've got one more to do here. And this one is another pop art card. It's fish underwater all my favorite colors in there the teals the blues there's some black and gold as well which is like a tribute to my dad for reasons i won't go into um all right so this is another one of those oh ones, yeah so. okay so we have to pull the claw bit down a little bit yeah just basically pull it out so it's pointing out rather than pointing up that way it gives it a chance to go in yeah. to the hook that's probably my bad for... I mean, these frames are so old. I don't even know how long ago we got these ones. Like that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, three more to go on the other side. So um, we are 10 minutes into this now, uh, into this particular part that I'm doing, which... Uh, so I, this, this will be counting from when we started actually hanging them. Mm. Yep. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up on the wall. So we've got three more to go. So we'll probably have these all hung in about, what, maximum of 15 minutes, I'd say. But we were doing some talking at the start. We didn't immediately start hanging, did we? No. No. So you can do this really quick. So now he's got to line those, oh, hang on, I'll come around this side. He's got to line those two up with each other. So that one, That's that one. That's a little bit harder. That will... And equal off the centre line. Yeah. Again, use a ruler if you want to be precise. We don't care about preciseness. We just want them on the wall. Yeah. Like yeah. to be freestyle. Freestyle. Yes. That's our jam. Oh, so beautiful. So these actually used to hang in the studio. We had a picture rail up there and they were all up the top. Now I kind of feel like there's a lot of stuff in there, so maybe uh, it would be too much to have them in there as well. So we've decided to put them out here. So off our pink one. Hang on, Let's come around that side. We'll level off our pink one. We'll centre off that one there. Yeah, like that. Oh, 
I like the noise it makes when you put the claw in, by the way. So the claw you can get from Bunnings. Um, they're in the aisle where all the adhesive stuff and um, the hangers are. So sometimes you'll go there and they won't have any. So it's this one here. So these are the smaller ones. So you get five to a pack. That holds seven kilos on each hook. Now they are not and cheap. And you can get bigger ones as well. They're about $16 for this little packet. Just for five. Yeah, just for five. But look how quick and easy it is to hang things. So this only applies to drywall too. These, these won't work on... Would these work on wood? If we were doing like our picture rail? You'd probably have to rail. hammer them in and be very careful that the claws don't bend. Yeah. Um, but um, I have put them into also... At your mum's place, the um, waterproof um, gyp rock that they use in um, like bathrooms. toilets and bathrooms. Yeah. Uh, that does need a good hard hit with a hammer to get them to go into because that the, the waterproof stuff is pretty hard to get, get into. All right, so we just got to line that one up. It's a slightly different size to the one on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, they're all sizes. Yeah, yeah. so it doesn't matter. It looks really cool. Size. I like it all funky like that. All right, how lovely. Okay. And the job's done. How easy was that, everyone, to hang things on the wall? So there we are. It's all finished now. We went from a blank wall of nothing, so it was like this, and now it's like this. How beautiful. So yeah, don't be limited. Um, you want to take this and I'll talk for a minute. Don't be limited by how many things you think it's appropriate to hang on the wall. You remember Coco Chanel used to say, always before you leave the house, look in the mirror and take one thing off. No, add more stuff on. That's what I'm saying to you. Put more on your wall. He's giggling at me back there. <laughs> But don't think that you can only just hang one thing on your wall. You, you can hang as many things as you can fit. If you put them all right next to each other, it's your wall. You can have it looking how you want it to look. There are no rules, only Zool. <laughs> that joke didn't make any sense. No, we're going to have to edit that one out, aren't we? Right at the end of this video too. No, we're not editing it. It's going to stay in. So uh, leave your comments about how terrible that joke was uh, down below. All right, that's it from us for today. Look at what we did. We did this together. It's really beautiful. So get hanging, put your stuff up and send me photos of what you've done so that I can see your awesomeness. All right, everyone. This is Jen from Shawhide and Sparkly signing off for today. Bye-bye.